Okay, for question number 20, uh, it's given that a line through the points 4, 7, 8, 2, 3, 4 is parallel to a line through the points. And there are two lines which are passing through the points. The first one is passing through 4, 7, 8, and 2, 3, 4. The second line, let's say it's passing through, this is the line L1, this is the line L2. It's passing through minus 1, minus 2, 1, and it's 1, 2, 5. Okay, if the lines are parallel, then the their direction ratios should be in proportion. So this is the direction ratios should be in proportion. A1 upon A2 is equal to B1 upon B2 is equal to C1 upon C2. So let's find the direction ratios and we know how to find the direction ratios. So the direction ratios are so the direction ratios are given by x2 minus x1, y2 minus y1 and z2 minus z1. So this gives us the direction ratios. So let's find the direction ratios of this line. 2 minus 4 is minus 2. 3 minus 7 is minus 4. 4 minus 8 is negative 4. So these are the direction ratios of line 1. Similarly, let's get the direction ratios of line 2. So the direction ratios of line 2 are 1 minus of minus 1 is 2. 2 minus of minus 2 is 4. Mm -hmm. 5 minus 1 is negative 4. Mm -hmm. So these are A1, B1, C1 and these are A2, B2, C2. Let's find out the ratios. So minus 2 by 2, minus 2 by 2 and B1 by B2 is minus 4 by 4. C1 by C2 is minus 4 by <clears throat> this is uh, 4 minus 8 is negative 4 and this is 5 minus 1 is 4. This is actually 4. Okay, so this is 4. Okay, now minus 4 by 4. So this is equal to negative 1, this is equal to negative 1, this is equal to negative 1. So that means the direction ratios are in the same proportion. So that means L1 is parallel to L2. So which says that the assertion A is true. Now, <clears throat> the reason the reason for this is when the lines are parallel. So this is a vector which is parallel to this line. And this is a vector which is parallel to this line. And when the lines, two lines are parallel, say, let's say this is the equation of the line. The first one is R vector is equal to A vector plus lambda into B vector. And the second one is R vector is equal to A2 vector plus lambda into B vector. So this equation of the line is parallel to B1 vector. And this line is parallel to B2 vector. And when these two lines are parallel then they are the parallel vectors are also parallel so that means b1 should be parallel to b2 but it's given that the b dot product of b1 is equal to t2 and when the dot product of the parallel vectors is equal to zero so that means these vectors are perpendicular but which is false so in this case, the reason is true, but the reason is false. And this was our question number 20, and we are done with the part A. Let's move on to section, we are done with the section A. Let's move on to section B, which comprises of very short answer type questions of two marks each.